This keyboard has a secret. It splits. I built an ergonomic, full aluminum, fully custom keyboard with RGB only using Amazon. Let's check it out. This is the SP64 by YDMK. It's an aluminum custom split keyboard with RGB, which is cool again if you didn't know. The SP64 comes with an integrated aluminum plate, so this thing can get pretty loud, but we'll handle this later. It does not work with VIA out of the box, but I was able to source a working hex file and .json file, which I've linked in the description below if you decide to pick this up for yourself. So why a split keyboard, you ask? If there's one thing you need to know about ergonomic keyboards, is that the main thing they do is to try and keep your wrist in a neutral position more like this so how do you keep a neutral wrist position if this is a neutral wrist position this is pronation and this is supination you're gonna want to try and avoid both you also want to try and limit the deviation of a wrist so if this is also a neutral position you want to avoid this and this wrist extension also should be avoided when trying to keep a neutral wrist position. But AJ, the SP64 doesn't have tenting abilities. Aha, that's where these come in. This is a laptop stand holder also bought from Amazon, which will allow us to tent the keyboard at any angle we want. Big brain. The build process was pretty straightforward. It's a hot swap plate, so you just need to open the case, add your PCB, add your switches, and you're done. I did the Tempest mod, which is just adding masking tape to the bottom of the PCB to dampen the sound a little bit, but this case is loud. So I added tape in between the sandwich parts to stop sound from traveling through the aluminum. This is widely known as the force break mod. So I have to premise, this board is for a friend, I promise. So I had to keep it within the scope of Amazon and stay within her budget. So we picked up some Momo clones and we will also be using the key first bling switches for maximum ease of finger stress. This is a clacky linear switch and literally the lightest spring weight out there at 30 grams. But when I originally filmed my sound test, I built the board with tangerine, so that's what you're getting. I thought the integrated plate would resemble something short of a machine gun while typing, but I guess the force break mod and the Tempest mod are really doing something here. While typing, I could immediately feel less strain in my forearms due to the tenting that I didn't even know was there. It also opened up my shoulders and I could feel this helping with my neck posture. Again, I didn't know that was a thing. Now would I recommend this if you had $150 to spend on a board? No. There are tons of budget options out there I would rather add to my collection, but if you're in a specific situation where you really need a split keyboard, then that's a whole different story. All the links will be in the description below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.